And yeah. I need to tell you a, sh- a small story, Gamuruti. So when, when you started your church, <laughs> yeah. you used to come and uh, hire an electric drum kit from yes, me. Yes, yes, yes. And can we get Muruti? This is my person. Okay, how much do you want to pay? Okay, 500. Okay, just give me 500. Yeah. And I loved what you said to me. Yeah. Munna, give me a slip of some sort. Yeah. I yeah. need to be count- accountable for, yeah. to those people. Yeah. Yeah. 500. Yeah. I don't know if this is true, but I heard that you don't even have access to the uh, church account. I don't. No, man. Uh, all the churches that are urban, mm-hmm. they have English names. Mm-hmm. How about we look for a name that is Venek that the local people can identify with, mm. but also an international community can be inspired by. Mm. The the building is not big enough. Yeah, and sure. I and I hear you also on the on the way to buying a building. Yeah, seven yeah. million, seven six yeah. million, seven million, seven million Eish. building. Yeah, <laughs> Muna, just yesterday, eh? Muna, it's not that long ago. Yeah, this guy. The reason he, he needed an electric drum kit is because yeah. you were doing church in your house. In my house, yes. Just after COVID or COVID, yeah, somewhere yeah. there. Mm. If we should move from Musa Church, it should still be able to function. Hmm. That's why we can take, we took a month. Last year, my, my mom passed on and I was, mm. I was not at church for two months. And in that two months, the, the church grew. In fact, once more is the only one I called to Musa to come and lead worship. Mm. Once more had received an offer at another church in Joburg, two two churches, mm. to lead worship there. And I just felt in my heart that for what we were trying to build, he must come to Musa. He was like, uh, so how much are you paying? Mm. Like nothing. I just have a vision and a dream that mm. we can do this. And he looked at me like, is this Did guy, he laugh? Is this guy serious? Yeah, he's only laughing. <laughs> And, and he says, okay, I'll talk to my wife. Huh? And before the end of the day, once he said, I'm in. Our ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us on the Gospel Reality Podcast. And today we brought Mr. Philip himself. <laughs> not Casper, not your best. Another one. you know. Mr. Philip. But before we go any further, ladies and gentlemen, please make sure that you subscribe and like our content. We can only grow if you make us grow. And the only way to do that is to subscribe, tell a friend, tell a neighbor. Let's make uh, this platform grow. Uh, like a friend of mine used to say, Umbuso we Zulu must grow. And before we go into the interview, uh, uh, our song of the week today is... I forgot the name again. Wait, 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 wait. It's a... Uluiko Luami by Brilliant Baloi and the, and the Mini Twins. I love that song, man. But the name does not stick in my head. But I love it. Please make sure that it's on uh, iTunes when I'm brilliant. Because now... I was listening to it on on YouTube and then an advert came with Naked Woman. Now I came out of the spirit. Now I must go back again. Please put it on iTunes, you know, for some of us with iPhones. Mm, yeah. uh, that's the only way we listen to your music. But ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, today I've got a gentleman in the studio, a young pastor, mm. a young man of God doing wonders uh, uh, in the gospel space, doing wonders uh, in building a church. And I'm really inspired. I'm really inspired. And I've been asking him, hey, man, Muruti, please come through. Please come through. And finally, he's here. And his name is none other than Koketso Molaolwe. Yes, sir. Yes. Madam Muruti. Thank you for having me. How are you? Ah, no. I'm good. Uh, I can't complain. Things are good. Things are good, man. My wife is uh, we're six weeks from having our second born. So yeah, it's a bit hectic. Right? Ne? Mm. And 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 when I'm talking about second bonds, uh, when you had your your fa- your first child, I was like, oh, is this the guy who didn't really want to have kids? Yeah, 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 eh? yeah. You see, that's the thing. I did not. I never wanted to yes. have kids. But man, after yeah, I, I did tell you that. I, I didn't I, tell I, you. Didn't I tell you? I did not tell you. You, you knew. Okay. I just knew. Yeah, you know somehow. Okay. You're spiritual beings. Oh, you, you did. You did your 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 your, your research. <laughs> I didn't. I never wanted to have kids. Yeah. But man, after my daughter was born, yo, I'm yeah. like, why didn't I do this sooner? Sooner, man. Yeah, yeah. So now we're having a boy now. So I don't know how the dynamics gonna be, but I'm looking forward to it. Really? Yeah. 
Hey man, good luck, eh? Those yeah. boys. Yeah. <laughs> when they turn three, <laughs> they can dribble you, eh? I've got three year olds, man. Ish, nee. I feel like I feel like uh, I'm done. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm done. No, I'm after a... after this one, I'm also I'm re- I'm building a church. You're building a church. Yeah. Hey, man, you started building a church man, already. <laughs> this man is from Kuruman. Yes. Just so you know, ne? Sure. You drive from here, ka N14. You must you must pass Freiburg first. Yeah. Yeah, before you get there. Then Kuruman and Kokuruman after Freiburg, the cows on the road there. So you can't even travel <laughs> at night when you go there. Yeah, yeah no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah you can't. It's, uh, yeah, and it's just, there's nothing. There's yeah, nothing. There's, there's nothing on the road. Like, you, you, yeah, yeah, Gisekwa, left, right, and center. <laughs> it's, yeah, so, yeah, that's where I grew up uh, yeah. for most of my life. Only came to Pretoria 2005. Ne? Yeah, 2005. Yeah, I think that's that's um, that's a time I I caught wind of you, you know, because okay. you were doing the promotion, you know, Sunny Park. Oh yeah, yes, yo, you, you yo, were doing yo. the, you know, hey, it was I've, preparing you. Eh? Hey, I've been, <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, I've been on this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah, Sunny so, Park, if I remember yeah, correctly, Sunny it was Sunny, yeah, Sunny Max. Yeah, it was Sunny Max. Kari, 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 we're kari speaker the, mole. We're doing Kunjabarikin, the flash mob with yeah. the youth, and yes. then at one point we're doing cancer drive. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yeah, sure, just man, took nah, you back, just eh? took me back. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah. I'm 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 happy to see you, man. Um, mm. And I just need to get this off my chest, ne? Mm. So Whitney, the lady who helps me call for people to yeah. come here, in the because you were supposed to come, yeah, and then in the morning. Coco says he's sick. I'm like, yeah. ah, you see, when they become celebrities. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <wanna. laughs> yeah. And I was sick for sure, man. <laughs> well, I, so I, I'm conflicted. <laughs> I'm thinking, should I watch up him? <laughs> and oh. check if he's okay. <laughs> I, had to ask, I was like, yeah, no, oh, because he's filling <sighs> up venues now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not good enough. No, you know, I went to the gym that morning <laughs> and yeah. I had shortness of breath. Yeah. To a point where I needed... Um, Barking oxygen. Oxygen. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. So, oh, so it was that bad? Yeah, no, no, no. I actually sent her a picture. She should have showed you a picture. Which one? Uh, uh, she, I was like... No, I showed... Okay. I sent her a picture because I, I didn't mm. want her to no, say, I will never be a celebrity. Hey, yeah. no, me. I just want to say celebrity. <laughs> no ways. Uh, but uh, what, if there's one quality of you, of, of yours that I've heard from different people, you know? Yeah. Uh, like he said, he's the only one I didn't call him. Yeah. But that man is so loving and giving. Yeah. Sure. Are, are you giving? Well, I try, man. <laughs> really? I try, but but I you try. are so loving and giving. I try. Like, uh, you know, when different people echo the same sentiments, yes, yes. you tend to believe it. Yeah. Ah, man, I am a, I'm a product of people's love and generosity. Ah. And I just want to do the same for others that other people did for me. Ne? Yeah. If it was not for people loving me, and being generous towards me, I wouldn't be where I'm at. Yeah. So let me just do it for others. All right, all right, all right. And before before this, we were talking about your, your family, man, your, yes. your child that is it's in the world, and and uh, that's gonna be in the world in three. In six weeks from in now, si- yeah. In six yeah. weeks. In six weeks, yeah. Um, uh, in in the world that we're living in now, yeah. are you? Are we sure we want to bring kids to this world, man? Hey, man, you know what, ne? I was talking to a friend yesterday. I say, we're driving from Venda, and I was just saying to them, you know, there was a guy who unfortunately lost their daughter. Their daughter was kidnapped, mm. and then they found him a couple of days later, you know, mm. up having passed on. And I'm like, can you imagine the trauma as a parent Marin. having to see your child? Mm. Yo, man, just think about it. Yeah. And, and I think it then, more than, because we can't run away from it. Mm. And we cannot not have kids. The best thing we can do is to preach the gospel. Because yeah. I believe that the, boss, the gospel changes people's lives. Oh. And if we can preach to enough people and change their lives, mm. then we will see all the problems we are dealing with decreasing. Yeah. That, well, that's, for me, that's the solution. Yeah, well, yeah. The change that we The change we, we want, man. Let's preach the gospel and get people to accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Because a very few people who are really convinced about Jesus and they've given their lives mm. go in to make him a scratch. I mean, you can act, right? Mm. But, but, but when Jesus really gets into your heart and changes your life, man, you still make mistakes, but you won't go out killing people. Killing people you know, for, for, yeah. for So I think may, m- many of us would be in jail if it was not for the gospel. 
Yeah, we'll be in jail like or we'll be dead. dead. Yeah, dead. yeah, we'll be I'll in jail or dead. Be dead. Yeah, well, well, you see. <laughs> so here, I yeah. think that for me, the really, really real solution is is the gospel. Mm. How it changed my life. I I'm also I can I have the capability to be a, a, a criminal. Mm. We all do. Yeah. But it was that change that came mm. with the gospel. It's that, actually yeah. one stupid decision. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Even when you are driving. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. It's, it's, you're on your phone, then you're it's, a criminal. It's, You've killed it's someone. It's by grace. Mm. Now that we're talking about church, you know. Yeah. Um, now that we're talking about church, um, you got born again when you came to Pretoria, ne? Yes. For Bethesda. Yeah. Hey. Right? Shall be inter, shall be research, ne? Shall be research. Well, I've known you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, <laughs> got, I got born again. How, yeah. how did you feel, you know, as, and I, I need to ask you this, as a person who's, who's building a mega church, can I have I, an amen? My God, my God, so yes. So when, when, when the pastor, I go, Bethesda, you know? Yeah. I know after Bethesda, you moved. Yes. Uh, Clement, uh, Ibe. Ibe, Ibe. Yes. And there were those stories that he stole money. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. how did that make you feel, man? And how is that propelling you in, in your journey? Because, you know? Yeah. Look, I think it takes me back to, I know the battle I need to fight right now mm. to remain humble. Mm -hmm. I know the battle I need to fight to remain faithful. I know the battle I need to fight to remain you know, rooted in Christ and, you know, not eating church's money and all of that. And when I heard that, I was like, sure, the, 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 he lost the fight. Because mm. it's, I don't think you wake up in the morning and you want to be a mm. horrible person. Yeah. We all, on, that's why the Bible says, I crucify myself daily. Mm. As like one of us lost the fight. Because, yo, man, this is a fight. Mm. To remain humble, to remain faithful, to remain, it's, and, and you need to, the higher you go, you need to crucify yourself daily. And you can't just rely on yourself. You need to surround yourself with people that will hold you accountable and and and, mm. and and when you listen to the story you'll realize that at some point he pushed away the people who were holding in, him accountable mm. and that's where you lose the battle mm. the minute because we can't hold ourselves accountable yeah and and so it was not a it was a disappointing number one he i was very disappointed mm. because he led me to the lord mm. right and and i learned ministry excellence from him mm -hmm. But after that, I was just like, sure, man, I, I could, it could as well be me. Yeah, it, it, it could be you. Yeah, it, you know, it could be me. I was like, he lost the fight. And we just need to learn from such things. Mm. To say, where, where did the, the, the fight, where did you lose the fight? Where did you trip? Mm. Not where did you fall? Where did you trip? Ish. And oftentimes you trip when you start pushing people. When there's no one who can say to you, mm. don't do that. Mm. When there's no one, because understand one thing, as you grow in prominence and in influence, very few people can actually correct you. Mm -hmm. Very few people can actually say you are wrong. Mm. Very people, few people can treat you as a human being. They treat you now as a man of God. And yep. you love it as well. And you want to be treated as a man of God by every, everyone. Mm. That's why my wife always says to me, you have three friends. Make sure that they remain your friends and not your fans. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people will not be able to tell you when you are vying away. Yeah. But these guys, they will tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, this guy. No, go good read. So, Pule is not a yes man. No, he's not. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, I he's not. I just started to blind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. So, no, no, after no. Bethesda, and, mm -hmm. and what you've said right now, ne, just, just to err on it, um, I was talking to a pastor last week. Yeah. And you know, as pastors, it becomes a bit, you forget to, oh, <laughs> you, for, you forget to, also preach to yourself yeah. and read the Bible yeah. for yourself. Yeah. You're always yeah. preaching and reading the Bible for, for, for to, to preach to people, you know? Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and, and he was telling me that, that that's how some pastors lose, lose yeah. themselves. Yeah, yeah. You and, and you know what? This very thing you've prayed for, mm -hmm. the ministry itself, mm -hmm. is the one that pulls you away from that mm -hmm. because it gets busy. Yeah. Right now, just on Tegane, uh, the summit, and then there's a building, there's, this, there's a lot of things we're doing. Mm -hmm. I have to intentionally shut everything out yeah. to pray. Otherwise, it won't happen ne? because I am always running. And it's the things of God that sometimes pull you away mm -hmm. from God himself. 
<laughs> and we need to just guard against that. When you fall in love with the things of God mm. more than the God of things. Yes. So it happens. Man, it happens without you even seeing. Mm. It happens so quickly. You're going to see yourself on the other way. Mm. That's why you need someone who will be able to say, hey, man, uh, something is changing. Yeah. Something is, is not right. Are you still okay? Yeah. You know, every now and then. Yeah. And those people sometimes are annoying <laughs> ne? because you are used to people clapping for exactly. you. They are not clapping ne? for you. They are cautioning <clears throat> you. And you need, the higher you go, man, yeah. you need those people. But you're in good hands because your wife is strict, eh? Ha, so, ah, yeah. there. Telling you. <laughs> <laughs> there. Ah, my wife, yeah, she doesn't play games. <laughs> she doesn't play and, games. Um, and I, I look at your structure, ne? Mm. And, and I ask, so I've, you know, I go to Pastor Lungi's church. Okay. You know? yes. Yes. So. yes. 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 But one thing I've seen with 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 the, with the younger pastors, you know, yeah, yeah. the structure is there. I don't know where Lungi got it, ne? Yeah. But with you, because you went to a, a white church after yeah. after, you know, after after. Uh, can I say the church? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah go, you went to Doxa, you know. Yes, yes. Doxa yes. is predominantly a white church. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. They. The church doesn't, uh, you don't stay there the whole day. No, no, no. Yeah. Straight to the word. <laughs> but there, there are principles yeah. around how they teach. They're not as charism charismatic, charismatic as, yeah. as black people, yes, you know? Yes, yes, But the order. The order is, The yeah. order, the music. Yeah. Ish. Yeah, let's not go there. <laughs> you know, the music. <laughs> yeah, but the yeah. order and the, 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 the care they have yeah, for, for, yeah, for people yeah, yeah. and how they rogue people in. And how they are accountable, especially yeah, with small yeah, things like money. Yeah, 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 and yeah, I need to tell yeah. a sh small story. So when, when you started your church, <laughs> yeah. you used to come and uh, hire an electric drum kit from me. Yes, yes, yes. And can I get Muruti? This is my person. Okay, how much do you want to pay? Okay, 500. Okay, just give me 500. Yeah. And I loved what you said to me. Yeah. Muna, give me a slip of some sort. Yeah. Yeah. I need to be accountable for, yeah. to those people. Yeah. Yeah. Five hundred. Yeah, yeah. I've worked yeah. with pastors, ne? Ne. <laughs> ne. One point five. Ah, just, just, yeah. just, just. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's when I saw, no man. Yeah. This man accountable. Five hundred. Yeah. You know when God can 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 trust you with the little. Yeah. Hey, but anyway, let me not preach. You don't have to preach, brother. Yeah. Anyway, hey, no, amen. No. Amen. <laughs> amen to that. Yeah, yeah. Now it it, it takes us obviously to Muso Church, ne? Yes. Yes. I need to tell the people, ne? I think. Uh, Muso is known, but I think it can be known even even better. Yes, yes. What is Muso Church? Yeah. What does it stand for? Yeah. What yeah. pillars and what is it standing on yeah. as well? Yeah. You know? yeah. And and maybe if I can just track back to what you were saying, you know, Humunzo, if if you cannot be accountable with that five hundred rands, mm. yeah, it becomes difficult from a hard posture to mm. be accountable with five million rands. Mm. Because if I treat the 500 red as if it's my own, mm. I get used to thinking like that, to ah. thinking the church's money is my money. Was... And when it's 5 million rands, I will struggle to, to have accountability. Exactly. There is a lot of pastors who now, they are big, they want to put systems in place. Mm. But they are, from a hard perspective, it's, it's difficult it's because difficult. they're like, yo, so I can't mm. do one, two, three anymore. Yeah. So that's that's where the challenge is. So I had to train myself very, very early when we're dealing with 500 rand. Yeah. For now, when we're dealing with X amount. And for 10 years from now, when mm -hmm. we're dealing with... 10 billion. 10 billion, you understand? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And I, before you talk about Musone, yeah. I don't know if this is true, but I heard that you don't even have access to the uh, church account. I don't. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. So what what happens is when there's an when there's a transaction mm. goes to the financial board mm. and the financial board makes a decision. Obviously, small operational things that we have yeah. budgeted for, they can they yeah. can we can transact. But they, uh, above a certain amount, the board needs to approve, mm -hmm. and then the financial op uh, uh, manager needs to make the payment, and I get the OTP. That's the only thing I get. Then I send it to them. And then they make the transaction. I can't transact, even if I wanted to. Wow. I can't transact in our bank account. Wow. Yeah. I know. He's not Bushiri. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, please tell us about I know myself. I will lose the battle. <laughs> no, exactly. And when I do, mm. I want to. There, there should not be. I should not have the ability. Yeah. You see, I, I can't try. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm fighting. I'm making sure that yeah. I, I don't fall. I don't use mm. the church's money. But the day I'm weak, 
uh, then there must be a system, system in that place. will then block me. Ah, in the, yeah, that's yeah. that's the whole idea. Oh, so this man, I am perfect. <laughs> ah, no, man. no, I know. And I like I like uh, uh, the structures you've you've yeah. put into place. I think we're gonna go into them uh, yeah. uh, 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 just now. But please take us through Muso Church. Yeah. Know? What does what does Muso mean? Yeah. What is it standing on? Yeah. There's a scripture. Yeah. Now I thought it was that that scripture. Erin Ponzo, First John two fourteen. <laughs> they are the young, are strong. They can yeah, run. Yeah, I thought yeah. it was based uh, on that. As as young no, pastors, you know. No, no, no. Yeah, please take so us through. Matthew yeah. sixteen eighteen, where the Bible says, uh-huh. "And I will build my church. The church so expansive with the energy uh-huh. that the gates of hell shall not prevail against it." Mm-hmm. To a point where, before it was Musa Church, it was expansive life church. That was, that was the name of the yeah. church. <laughs> And uh, and I was like, no man, uh, all the churches that are urban, mm-hmm. they have English names. Mm-hmm. How about we look for a name that is Venek, that the local people can identify with, mm. but also an international community can be inspired by. Mm. The problem with our language is that what will be a word in English Mm. In our language, is a sentence. Yeah, exactly. so, so it's difficult to actually <laughs> find a yes, word that is yeah. short, meaningful, mm. easy to say. So I was driving from a conference in Sentin one afternoon, just thinking, what, what could the name be? And even that time, I was not thinking about the name. I was thinking about whatever. Then I was listening to Impact Radio, and then Muso by We Will Worship mm. played on the radio. Mm. And I was like, Muso. I was like, yeah. Muso, Muso Church. Ah, and then I call Langa. I say, hey, yes. Langa, listen, man, did you copyright the name or <laughs> anything? Can yeah. I use it? And Langa was like, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Go for it. Yeah. And uh, that's how Muso, Happened. Muso Church, the name came about. Unfortunately, sorry to disappoint Bazaar. Yeah. I was not in a mountain somewhere. You know, in the Praise no, 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 driving. No. And I think because we've always just intention that we want to build a brand, a church brand, that that we can identify with mm. uh, that looks like us yet the it can still have an international appeal mm. so i had a group of friends from around the world uh, on a whatsapp when we went to a conference and and we, we so in <laughs> uh sorry ladies and gentlemen uh, we truly apologize uh i thought load shedding is gone ah. before the elections the power just came back. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Musa's got a generator. No, yeah, we have a generator in the building. Yeah, yeah in the yeah, building. Yeah, actually, we've just been using a generator. Ne? Yeah, just to avoid the Such up and down. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, you were saying international yeah. friends. Yes. So we went to a conference in Dubai with my mm. wife, and we met eighty leaders from across the world. Mm. So we already had that relationship. So what I did is I took the word Muso and threw it in the WhatsApp group mm. and say, guys, can you say this word? So everyone from China, mm. they could say it, even mm. though the dialect and everything was yeah. bad, everyone could say it because we wanted to test if it would catch, yeah. you know, for people that are not South African. Yeah. And it worked. And then we're like, okay, then Muso Church it is. Okay. And and the idea, man, was really to 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 we, we have the likes of Hillsong, Elevation, mm. Transformation Church that has had an international influence and footprint. Mm. And, 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 and that was at the time where, you know, brands like Matosa and our music yes. was exporting and was doing well internationally. Mm. And, and, you know, uh, uh, with Black Panther, that was the time of Black Panther. So mm. uh, African culture was beginning to do its rounds in the world. Mm. And I was like, but is the South African church culture also exportable? Mm. Can we create something that we can export at that level? Yeah. And that's why we had to then build a brand that, that, that has an international appeal, but very strong uh, local culture. And that's 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 part of the part of the the strategy around the name and the branding and everything, and and the idea being building a church that will uh, you know appeal to the younger uh, to millennials mm-hmm. to because when you are in the city context you are seeing a lot of uh, our cream of the crop 
going to what we call white churches, mm. right? Because there's a certain thing they want there. And, and, and that is the level of excellence that they have. <clears throat> but you always hear them say, ish, the music, yeah. ish, the, you know, it's excellent, but it doesn't have yes. that thing, you know? Uh. And then when you come to our church, they have that thing, but now the church takes five hours and then you're not sure what's happening, you know? <laughs> and, 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 and so while you are here, you still long for this. Yeah. And when you are here, you still long for exactly. this. And we're like, how do we then match that? And, mm. and that's what we've tried to do with Muso, yeah. Muso Church, to try and bring that excellence and that spiritual depth. Nah. Uh, and bring them together. Yeah. No, you know, I thought Bethesda was going to be the church that does it in Pretoria. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. We all had our churches then. Yeah. We used yeah. to go to Bethesda. Kind Someone of was saying to me, actually, mm. the other time to say, you know, Muso is what Bethesda was back then. Hey. What Muso is today nah. is what Bethesda was that day. And I was like, sure. When, remember when they recorded that, yeah. that their first yes. album? Yes. Yeah, man. They were. Remember, Sparks yeah, was Sparks the Sparks was the music director. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, no, yes. it was yeah, it was fire, man. It, it was, was fire, it was man. flames. But Doctor Tumi Pella from yes, yeah, yes, man. he was actually at the time he was leading the kids worship, yes. the, the youth worship at yes, the time. Yes, yeah, yes. so yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> what is a great significance of uh, of an urban church? So I used yeah. to be in a in a church in Pretoria. Yeah, it was Dominion Life City Church. Yeah, 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 and. In, in, in these churches, you get yeah. different ethnicities, yes, denominations, yes, yes, yes. cultures, different people coming yeah, in. Yeah. And how do you service all of them, if I can yeah. put it like that? I think, number one, the significance of the city mm. is that the city drives the economy. It mm -hmm. drives the culture of the nation. It drives the important decisions are made in mm. the cities. and Like, cities are hubs where the countries are made mm -hmm. you know uh, everything flows from cities mm. if you are able to raise enough people who are kingdom minded in cities you are able to change a nation hmm. uh, it, it starts in cities cities are hubs of change mm. you know so so we need vibrant churches in the city mm. the nice thing about the city is that it has its own culture yes. that everyone converges at mm. so if you if you understand that culture and speak to that culture, the Venda, the Kosa, the Zulu, and everyone will speak to, we, we speak the same language. Yes. And it's not a language, it's more a culture a and a culture, way of yes, doing things. Yes, yeah. yes, like yes, like yes. In, in most city churches in Pretoria, mm -hmm. coffee is a big thing, you know? There must be coffee before and after service. It's a culture thing, mm. you know? And if you want people to build a relationship, you make sure that there's coffee before the service and after the service, then people will come early and mm. they will not rush to leave. To leave, yeah. yeah. Hey, if they don't want me to leave early, they must do a braai. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee must wait. Yeah. <laughs> Coffee must wait. Yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> you know, um, these older churches, mm. I feel like their downfalls is, is things like unity. Mm. I understand, uh, you know, we're living in a day where yeah. uh, pastors, young pastors are coming in, showing, showing... The older guys, not really in a bad way, but you know, you're doing it, you know, yeah, yeah. because you've got you've got the energy. Sure, so sure, sure. Like first join, you've got yeah. the energy, you've yeah. got the, but that unity is still not there. Yeah. What you're building is for Muso. Yeah. Then I told you, I go to Greek. Yeah. I'd really love to see people, young pastors like yourself, Le Pastor Lungi. Yeah. You know what? Ka Easter, we must have a thing where we're doing a yeah. combined sure. big thing. Sure. Fill up an arena. Yeah. The yeah. Domi, you know, yeah. but fill up an arena, yeah. sunbed, yeah. where the unity of young pastors come together. Yeah. It's not about how much I can pocket yeah. Ka Easter. Yeah. Yeah. Collectively, yeah. Yeah. in winning souls, in yeah. getting people together. Yeah. How can we do that? Do you think that's a possibility? I think it's a possibility, and I think in small pockets it has been happening. I just want to maybe... A, a give a different perspective, right? Mm. So, Pastor Matebula, Bishop Musa, mm. and the guys that we respect mm. a lot, mm. when they started planting churches, it was just after apartheid. Mm. Planting churches in the urban space was not for them. Mm. It was not a, a really a strong possibility. Mm. So, 
at the time unity was 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 important but it was survival was the <laughs> was the key the, thing, was the key yeah. thing. Yeah. do you yes. understand yeah, 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 and yeah. because they had to make sure that we who are coming mm. behind them we find something solid exactly. with a point of reference mm. i would not be able to do what i'm doing if i did not have a point of reference in bishop in mm. pastor matebula in mm. uh, apostle Roma and all of these guys mm. so i think we need Sorry, to be... did you say Apostle Jomo? Yes. So I like him. Apostle Jomo in Kezeren. Oh, I'm thinking yeah. things really like him. No, okay. No. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah. yeah. So I think uh, uh, while and and right now when you when you when you look at them, mm. they have built quite a, a strong community. They have. But but back then they had to survive. Mm. We don't, when our survival is not a key thing for us, that's yeah. when we can explore ah, the stuff that we are yes. doing now. And, and it's the same as, you know, when we look at politicians, businessmen and mm. everything that started their business post 94, mm. their su survival was the key thing. Mm. And they had a lot of things to fight against. We who are building after them, you know, uh, the challenges that Theo Balo is dealing with is mm. not the same challenges as what and that the Richard Maponya 100%. dealt with. But because that the Richard Maponya dealt with them, Theo does not have to deal with them. Ah. So that's where the difference is between us and them. Without them, we can't do what we're doing. Mm. And that's why the synergy you are talking about is beginning to happen. I mean, I look at Jesus to the City last year. Mm. I had almost 20 pastors there mm. that came not because they were going to sing, not mm. because they were going to minister. They came to support but not only that, they actually gave money towards <laughs> Jesus the city. Yeah. Wow. Pastor Lungi, you are talking about yeah. this is the second year in running where he gives towards uh, Jesus to the city. So the unity that you're talking about is already happening. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, man. No, it's already happening. Like that's... now we have a summit that is coming two weeks' time. There's a pastor who just said his 30,000 rands towards the summit. The so another sold out. You understand? I don't know. That one is a ten, is a ten thousand seater. Ah, that one, my brother. <laughs> but I saw it was sold out. The, the leadership. So we have the leadership, leadership track of it yeah. that is sold out. But the the main one still. Now we're there. Still, we're, yeah, we're there. Yeah, we're there. Yeah, we no, must come good. in numbers. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Wow. So it's happening. The unity it's, is happening. Uh, Though it's not. It's we're not seeing it in public mm -hmm. because also we need to develop trust, right? Yes. So we're, we're we are developing trust. It's coming, mm. and you're the greater things are yet to come hey man hey man i'm living in a beautiful time man yeah i'm led by my age mate there you, know? you go yeah yeah yeah, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no, yeah. No. but the 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 shall be the last shall be the first yeah <laughs> but, uh, but along those lines yeah, but yeah, yeah. i love how how you are doing things thank you sir i, I love i love seeing Mm. Seeing what you do, yeah, I've, I've, att I've attended one of the the, the last one. Yes, the, just just the city. And man, I love how you. Hey, why church helped you, eh? <laughs> Bella, how you go? Let me just tell people who have not attended Muso Muso worship, ne? Mm. So you get there, and on the right there's a market. You can go buy market cool drinks. Uh, they don't sell alcohol these ones yeah. <laughs> cold drinks and uh, I bought I bought something for my wife I think massage things I can't remember even beads mm -hmm. and then you go to the extreme right they're selling food like proper food yeah and then when you go in there's a kiddies area like they've they've thought of you guys thought of everything yeah, yeah. like kid friendly that place yeah. um, young people friendly yeah and beautiful musicians, yeah. beautiful songs. Yeah. You are, you're onto something, eh? And, you know, I, I sometimes say to people, a part of it is a bit of a selfish thing, right? <laughs> yeah. Because I was like, what kind of church would I love to go to? Ah. Yeah, so I had to ask myself, yes. you know? Me and my wife, we have been married not for long. We have a little child, you know? What would a good outing look like for us? Mm. And when we designed it, we're like, if this would be appealing to us, it probably there's a few other people mm. that also would like the same experience. Yeah. And then we put it together and then we were like, ah, I don't want to go to an event. Then I have to keep on checking with my child and I don't have to worry about them. But also I want good food, good vibes, market vibes. Mm. And, and can I tell you, part of the reason why we did uh, uh, a Jesus to the City well, it was it was to reach the city and everything. Mm -hmm. But one Sunday after Delicious Fest, mm -hmm. 
people didn't come to church. <laughs> Hang on. I was so annoyed. <laughs> I was so annoyed because yeah. I don't know. They they yeah. were at delicious fairs, yeah. and I, and I said probably they went there because they don't have an alternative. Uh, because we have not created something 100%. that looks like that for them, mm. you know, and and so it contributed to how for for to the how, ah. not the why we do it. Because the why was always to reach the city, yeah. but in, t- in terms of the how we do it, that contributed to to that. Hmm. Wow, wow! So, Musa worship is going outdoor now. Yeah, you've seen that the venues are small. Eh? Ish, man. When it was packed, it was packed. <laughs> more, eh? It was when I was coming from Bumalang. I was like, "Hey, man, Konja, I need to go there." Yeah. And when it was packed, it was packed. Mm. Like it was packed. Mm. Like yeah, you know. Yeah. A, re- a real sold out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a real sold out. Yeah, a real sold out. <laughs> but how I in, how I see what you're doing, yeah. I see like a park, like a botanical garden. Yes, yes. Where people yeah. can sit, at the basket. Because yeah. now people, guy, your shows people bring their own cam yes, cam yes, chairs, yes, you know. Yes, yes, yes. Where people can sit with their family, at the at the, yeah, the picnic picnic, picnic setup, and, and you know. All those things, yeah. Same setup, but on a bigger scale. Yeah. Like I I saw, yeah. I just saw it. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's clear this guy's going that direction, man. you know. Yeah, man. Look, we we will see. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see because we we. So, like I'm saying, we have the summit now coming. Yeah. We're gonna deal with the summit, yeah. and when we're done with the summit, uh, the album is doing incredibly well. It's mm-hmm. keeping us busy, so we'll see what the end of the year looks like. The, the what what we are most certain of is that the venue we have been using for the past two years, is not working. It's not enough. You know, it's mm-hmm. not enough. So we don't know what what's mm. gonna happen at the end of this year. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sure you've got a plan. We are we are, we are planning this the summit, which is in two weeks. Yeah. When we're done with the summit, then we'll start. Then you'll sit there. Yeah. Ah, no, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah. Hey, man, oh God, I'm sitting with a, you know, those old men, plenty of wisdom. <laughs> what was I doing when I was young? Ah, oh, man. <laughs> oh, Beyonce, you're still here. <laughs> Uh, do you still work for that leadership company? Sure, this guy. So there's nothing you don't know about me. Eh? <laughs> no, I think I had to. So, so that company mm. was uh, I was a partner in the company. Mm. Uh, so we employed about um, fifteen industrial psychologists. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had actually an office here at Honeydew. Mm-hmm. Uh, men were doing well, working for listed companies. Yeah, yeah. When when we started Musa Church, I said to God, God, whatever you want me to do, uh, I want to I want to see it succeed, mm. you know, so that I know that this is what you want me to do. Yeah. But whatever you don't want me to do, make it fail and make it fail dismally, so that I can just move on quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I shouldn't have made that prayer <laughs> because man, my business went down so quickly. We went from mm. those people, from employing all of those people, to having to sell furniture mm. because business just went down. Uh, and the reason I did that was because I know that I'm very enterprising. Mm. I can get my hands into a lot of things. Mm. And I didn't just want to do anything. I just mm. wanted to do what God has called me to do. So that business died. Uh, and and that was a painful experience for me. Mm. But I guess it was the cost of ministry for me. Mm. I had that was the the price I had to pay. Uh and I learned big lessons, painful lessons through that. So no I so I stopped doing that. So I consult every now and then for friends of mine who are mm. still in the business who yeah, need yeah, yeah, a yeah. consultant every now and then yeah. but but my main focus is mm. church. And you 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 still a life coach. Yeah, I still and, do I still do that yeah. uh, when I, as and when I get time. Ne? Yeah. <laughs> I thought Musa, Musa must be paying you well. <laughs> I thought must pay you better. If you can just dedicate yourself to Musa. And it does, it's a nice thing because you know the one who's pressing pay, you know? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So it means yeah. the so board agrees. Someone else has Because decided, your, your, yeah. your church runs kind of board, okay? Yes. yes You've got yes, a board yes, that's running the board, church. Yeah. Bonds. <laughs> um, uh, we had a psychologist, Nale Mone, okay. and he said, you know, pastors, mental health of pastors mm, yeah. is overlooked. Sure. 
pastors are lonely. Yeah. They go through things. Sure. And like you were saying, a lot of them don't have yeah. anyone they can talk really to. talk to. Yeah. So the question I need to ask you is, uh, who is your spiritual father? Sure. Because <laughs> hey, somebody gave me this thing is spiritual father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, who, is yeah. Your, who do you submit to? Sure, sure, sure. Who do you submit to? Mm-hmm. And when you are down, yeah, because, you know, I know people are a reserved person. Eh? Yeah. You're a shy person. And I was I was watching you guys muso Nakuka Muso worship more. Yeah. Like you were so you get so overwhelmed, yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't even know where to go. <laughs> you don't know, hey, should I you know, and I and I get it, you know. Yeah. I don't know if it's a stardom, but I'm I'm guessing you're also shocked. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's too you don't you plan for it but you don't you, yeah, you when don't it fathom happens, it until yeah, it's here, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So who 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 is your support? Yeah. Sure. You know, yeah. that is what I'm trying to ask you. And I think it starts here. You know, the concept, and this is me, and I hope I don't offend anyone. Mm. The concept of being a man of God, mm. it puts you at such a high pedestal mm. that you need to constantly remind yourself that I'm a human being mm. because people will put you there, man. Mm. And if you buy into that, all that, that you can't be mm. a man of God everywhere you go all the time at home and there's never a moment where you just relax and just be a human being I always say man I'm a child of God before I'm a man of God mm. right and it is for me to remain my responsibility is to remain a child of God mm. it's God's responsibility to make me the man mm. and and for me because to if you are a child of God, then you are not afraid to come to a homote and say, man, my marriage is not working. Mm. I'm not doing well financially. Mm. This and this and this and that. Because as a man of God, you must always mm. be on top of the game. Of course. You know, so I think we need to, we need to manage that. Mm. So uh, there's an amazing man of God, uh, Pastor Jacob Msipa. Mm-hmm. He is in, uh, in Delmas. He has a church in Delmas, in Benoni, and in... Um, in Durban, mm. in Hillcrest, uh, Builders Church, him and his wife have just become an amazing, amazing source of strength and wisdom mm. for me and my wife. So they are the ones who are fathering us, they are mentoring us, they are loving us. You know, it's the kind of people when they call us, they don't ask us about the numbers. Mm. They don't ask us about how many people we had mm. and, uh, and all of those things. They ask us, how are you doing? Mm. How's your marriage? How are, have you, are you guys eating? How's Mali doing? How's, they are more concerned about us mm. than what's happening at Musa Church. They celebrate what's happening at Musa yeah, Church, yeah, yeah. but their main concern is us, you know? And to a point where sometimes they tell us, no, you can't do that. Mm. You know, we almost did not have the, you see the big album that's happening right now? Mm. It was almost not happening. Mm. Because I had decided that the summit that we're doing now, I'm going to cancel Jesus to the city mm. and do the summit. Mm. I was excited. Like, oh, we're going to take it down. We're not going to record. Da, 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 da. And then he says, but what did God say to you? <laughs> the I'm brick. like, yo. And he literally mm. just said, no, don't, mm. don't, don't do that. Mm. And I just felt uncomfortable a bit to say, mm. hey, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this one? Yeah, you know. <laughs> but look. Look where we are today. Hundred percent. You know, so so a lot of us don't want covering ne? because it's not easy. Yes. It's not always. It's not always nice. Mm. But man, it's always safe. Mm. It's not always nice, but it's always safe. Ne? And I lean more towards the safety of it. Wow. Yeah. And man, I don't know. I don't know if 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 I don't know if I'm speaking to you, but I don't know what your weaknesses are. Ne? Yeah. I believe people like you. Lungindala. Mm. I don't know if you guys have coffee. Ne? Yeah, we, but, we, but we, well, I, we have not had coffee, but we speak so much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Muruti, I see a, we need to make it happen. Ne? Yeah, 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 yeah. Muruti, please. I see so much similarities between the yeah, two of you guys. Yeah. You, the both of you have got the same problems. Yeah, the the building is not big enough. Yeah, and sure. I and I hear you also. On the on the way to buying a building, yeah. seven yeah. million, seven six yeah. million, seven million, seven million Eish. building. Yeah. <laughs> Mona, just yesterday, ne? Mona, it's not that long ago. Yeah, this guy, the reason he, he needed an electric drum kit is because yeah. you were doing church in your house. In my house, yes. Just after COVID or COVID, yeah, somewhere yeah. there, in the house. From there to a seven, like 
I've I've been in churches <laughs> there that they are still building even now. Yeah. And it's not a funny thing, man. Yeah. And I believe that God has trusted with you, mm. uh, trusted uh, uh, this this idea. Yeah. And His word, sure. I believe that you're diligent in, 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 in following it. Ne? Thank you, sir. So, what I'm trying to say is look after your weaknesses. Yeah. We remember in South Africa, in South Africa, yeah. an allegation. Yeah. Is it? It's, a, it's it's you are guilty. You are convicted. Yeah, you are yeah, guilty. Yeah. So, check yourself. <clears throat> yeah. I'm not saying uh, seclude yourself, but check yourself yeah. and make sure that, um, uh, I man, don't have scandals, man. Yeah. I want to see this grow, man. Sure, sure. sure. Between, you know what I, I between said, you and Luginda, I want to yeah. see this grow, and yeah. other young pastors, yes, but yes. the the ones I've got proximity to, I want to yeah. see this grow and, yeah. and go to another level. You know? I wrote it on Facebook. I think it was Friday or Thursday. I said, a man who does not know their kryptonite hmm. is, a, is in danger. Mm-hmm. You need to know it and and confront it. Because if you pretend as if it's not there, hmm. then you are going to, you are go, it's what is going to trip you. It, it and, just clicked now. Yeah. A man who does not know their kryptonite, hmm. they are in danger of falling. Because yeah. if you don't know what what is this thing that and in fact no one does know we all know what our kryptonite is straight we know what is this thing that is going to trip me we are all aware of mm-hmm. it it's nothing to be embarrassed by mm. it's to it's, it's knowing yourself mm. i know what my kryptonite is it's power mm. i'm prone to be proud mm. just in my nature in mm. my in my in my build, mm. I'm prone to be a very proud person. Mm. I'm prone, I can easily become arrogant. Mm. That That is my, that's why a lot of people say I'm humble. Mm. I, I do it on purpose mm. because I know that my weakness in my build is is pride and arrogance. Mm. And I know, and as God is elevating me, I'm constant. That's why you see me at the back and not pushing myself to the front mm. because I know my disposition. I am disposed to be proud mm. and I fight it all the time. My friends, I always ask them, was this proud? Mm. What did I sound arrogant here? Because I'm like, I don't want to fall because of this. Mm. I know it. I know it. And I'm not even ashamed to say that that is my that is my weakness. My weakness is pride. Is huh. is arrogance. I'm 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 a, I'm an A type leader. Mm. I get in the room and I want people to move. Mm. So I need to constantly check myself. Yeah. Hey, I'm not really puns. A type leader. How is it big? So now a sensitive topic. I need to really uh, get past you. know? Yeah. I have seen. Uh, obviously, I've been around pastors. Yeah. Ne? I've traveled with pastors. I've been yeah. around pastors. I've seen the weaknesses of pastors. Yeah. And I've seen how the weakness of a pastor. Uh, can can be a demise of a church yeah. or of an organization. Sure. There was this beautiful organization I used to be a part of. Um, can I King? Yeah, Ramashia. Uh, do you know Apostle Ramashia? Uh, Present Day Truth Ministries. Okay. Travel. Big pastors used to come. from Mangali, so used to come mm-hmm. there. And when the leader starts to crumble, mm-hmm. it seems like. Th- Everything they did was yeah. was in vain. Sure. So sure. the question I want to ask you is, firstly, what is your succession plan? Yeah. And it, it's an uncomfortable one. It must yeah. be spoken about. Yeah. Do you also believe that uh, a child can inherit the church from the father? Yeah. Ne? Yeah. Like, is this a family business? <laughs> so they are straight, you know? yeah. And 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 the, and the third 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 question is. Um, and I think maybe we are but I'm going to ask it in a, in a, in a different way. Uh, if at a point, mm. but no, man, you're not fit enough. I think yeah. let's allow, let's give other Someone kids a, yeah. a chance. Yeah. Can you summarize that, that whole part? Maybe start yeah. Gauri, your succession plan. Sure. Uh, your son that's coming. Yeah. I'm getting yeah. you know, fathers want to leave things to the son. I don't yeah. know what's wrong yeah. with the daughter. Yeah. Uh, would you be grooming your son to take over the church? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and then the step aside rule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think the, the premise of the conversation must not be a downfall, mm. must be continuity. Yes. Yeah, it should not be in case 
you fall. Mm. It's just so that this thing can continue to to reach more and more people, mm. generations to come. Mm -hmm. I think that's the first thing. Uh, our succession plan, we, we don't necessarily have a succession plan as we do a culture of leading away from ourselves. Mm. So from the beginning of Muso Church, me and my wife have always led away from ourselves. And what does that mean? It means we have not centered things around us. Mm. If we should move from Muso Church, it should still be able to function. Hmm. That's why we can take, we took a month. Last year, my, my mom passed on and I was, mm. I was not at church for two months. And in that two months, the, the church grew. <laughs> yeah, because we have not built, the, the people know what to do even when I'm not there. Mm. And, and, and I think it, now it's a culture that is not built around. Obviously, at the moment, I'm the culture driver, mm -hmm. but, but we have built a, away from ourselves. Ah, you know? And that, that just builds a healthier church. And, and sometimes we talk about the mental health of pastors, everything. We are unable to even take a, a weekend off because if we're mm. not, it, we must always be there. And the church must learn very early that no, someone else will preach. I will mm. not always be here. You know, I'll take leave. I'll take off. And 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 if the church will crumble because I'm not there for a month, then let it crumble mm. so that we build something healthier. Because mm -hmm. it's not healthy that if I'm not there, mm. then the church will crumble. Yeah. So so that is how we have built it, mm. right? I think it's too early to know what the succession looks like mm -hmm. because we're three years in. Yeah. Uh, uh, and and everyone is still trying to find themselves, you know. Of course, yeah. But the culture in itself, mm. you know, is set up in a way that uh, it shouldn't be too difficult to get someone else to step in. Yeah. Should that happen? Um, about children, you know, if the children we groom children to take uh, to take over, I think boys, especially if you are a good dad, mm. they grow up to want to be like their dad. Somehow, you know, yeah, yeah, somehow they want to be like their dad, mm. uh, especially if what you're doing is good. Mm. Uh, especially if what you're doing, they've seen you love their mom well, mm. they've seen you lead people well, and they've seen the impact of of how uh, this has has um, uh, it has on other people. So that's the first thing. Your son wants to be like you, and then if there's a call of God upon them, mm. that's the second. That's the second thing. And then thirdly, if, so the, the first thing is they want to be like you. So it means they learn your trades and everything. Mm -hmm. and then there's a call of God upon their lives. Ne? Number three, your son is one of those people who has been there as people have been coming and going. Mm -hmm. they, they love you more than they love the ministry. Mm. They, you can trust them. You have built in them. Mm. So there's nothing wrong if they are called. They love the mission and they want to do it. There's mm. nothing wrong in, in giving it to your son as an inheritance. The Bible says uh, a, a wise man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. Mm. And if you can trust it into your son's hands to continue it, mm. generations to come. Because that, that scripture does not include, exclude pastors. Mm. You know, because you have, mm. you, have, you, have, you have built, you have spent your life building this thing. Mm. Right? And I think it's... Uh, it's, it's um, I mean, right now I'm 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 both a pastor and a CEO. Mm. I'm building an organization. Mm. While I'm building people, I'm also building an organization. What makes it wrong for my son to inherit that mission and continue the, the mission? Mm. What's wrong with that? Hmm. Nothing wrong. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so no, you see when you when you when you. When you see the history of churches yeah. now, you find elders or assistant pastors, yeah. or whatever they, they are called, yeah. the, the people who used to stepped in yeah. when you're not around, yeah. more often than none, yeah. um, who who you've, you've you've also imparted in them sure. your vision, yeah. where you're supposed to go, mm. and who are loyal, diligent to you. Yeah. And when when the succession plan comes, yeah. they feel, but I've been there. Why, I'm why, over. why were you there? Eh? Why were you there? To build this this yeah. ship with you. Okay. Why am I and overlooked? You're not overlooked. You're still serving. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're hey. still there. I know. Gotta be. Uh, with. Uh, <laughs> you're done with me. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, 
Do you know what the biggest issue is? The biggest issue is uh, when 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 some bars are on speak yeah. in the corners. Yeah. They say, but we built this. Who? The, the the congregation. We are the ones paying for what? For for the building. We get an arrangement and So it's a, it's our thing. Yes, correct. It's a communal. It, thing. It's a communal thing. Yeah. But it has been seen like pastors are the ones saying, they we own it. You must understand that churches are registered as NGOs and NPOs mm. where you cannot draw a dividend mm. or you cannot sell it. Mm. So it doesn't have an owner. It's actually a public entity. Mm -hmm. Right? So at the time that you, my son or my daughter just happens to be the one who is leading it, but it remains a public. No one owns it. Even mm. I don't own it. Mm. Yeah. So I'm not... I think we... we yeah, yo, man, it, 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 we need to check our hearts, ne? all right? Who, as to why do we do, yeah, yeah, why yeah, do yeah. we do things, right? And I'm not going to force my son to take it over. Uh, if he has a call upon mm -hmm. his life and this is the legacy that I've left, I, the, I see no problem. It is a man of integrity. He has a call upon his life. He's wise and he can lead. I don't see a problem in having that. I mean, we read the Bible all through the Bible from mm. Genesis all the way through how fathers were anointing mm. their sons and, and, and you know, a uh, father, uh, 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 a God of Jacob, Abraham, Isaac. We, we see that. So we see that God is a generation. When we read Matthew, it starts with the genealogy of Jesus. But when it comes to pastor, it must not continue. So the pastor must just kind of like, what he has worked for must just stop with him. Mm. Because pastor's children, they don't deserve it. They don't deserve... Man, hey. we, are, we, are, we, are, we are cruel as, as Christians, yeah? I know, it's thinking, man, you have uh, spoken to me. And on Karabi. Because I've always asked myself, yeah. is this a family business? Yeah. But I think you've broken it down uh, nicely, yeah, man. Yeah. We don't, we don't it's not a business but man this is this is what as a father you're gonna work your whole life I've building built my, I've, my child are the ones that at night when I was not there they carried that so I didn't just pay the price by myself mm -hmm. they paid the price the entire family me. not only that they felt the burden of ministry so this guy coming in he understands the burden of ministry Amen. he understands it and he wants to continue to serve people. And just because he's my son, he's disqualified? Hey. No, man. No, I hate you. But when the mood changes, I became real, eh? <laughs> okay, I've, I've had you. I think uh, I can even take it because it, it was a, an issue in my head. Yeah, Keep yeah, it yeah. so mara, yeah. mara, mara. Yeah. But I've, I think I've had you. Thank I, you, sir. I, I, it takes your age mates to show you right, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. We'll tell you things. Yeah, yeah, but you've, you've educated me. Thank you, sir. So when you move swiftly uh, past that one, longevity and consistency. Yeah. I think a lot of people start well. Yeah, yeah. You start yeah. extremely well. Absolutely. H how do you ensure that longevity and that consistency? Yeah. Or in, in 10 years' time, yeah. you are still goal-driven. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm guessing three years ago, you didn't think about a 7 million yeah. brains building. Not at all. <laughs> so, mm. um, how how do you make sure that in 10 years' time, yeah. you still have that goal? Or no, no, no. Yeah. Maybe not expanding the building now. Let's yeah. have a muso in Rustenburg. Mm. Let's have a muso in, in, in Freiburg. Yeah. yeah. Kuruman. Yeah. yeah. What's a co uh, your consistency? How, how do you ensure your consistency? Will I think... As long as we keep winning souls, mm. we'll always have a challenge. Hmm. Yeah, there will always be a challenge. As long as, because every generation has different, it's met. As long as we are, we, our target is always winning souls, mm. impacting the community we are in, mm. when we're going, we're, there will always be an issue to address. Mm. There will always be a soul to win. Well, there, there will never be a time where there is no, not a goal until we stop winning souls. Hmm. Uh, so the main thing is souls. If we stop winning souls, then we're going to be bored. 
because our project, we're going to get used to our projects. We're going to get used to all of these things we're doing. Yeah. But there will never be a time in a season where mm. there's not enough souls to be won. There's not enough marriages to be rescued. There's not enough edicts to be uh, 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 discipled. Mm. As long as souls are at, we will always have something to do. Yeah. Yeah. All right, sure. Good to look at church. I didn't expect the church part to stay this long, but yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we got it on the record. Now, quickly, let's go. To long run, about to go, 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 go music. <laughs> ah, man, if it's the truth, it yeah, must hit where it's supposed to hit. Eh? Yeah. If it's the truth, it's your pruning process. Yeah, Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. So let's go to music. Man. Sure. So uh, uh, I think the music at, at Muso Church. Yeah. Uh, it's beautiful. Thank you. I can't. Yeah, even though you've got. Professionals, there, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, can I look African, but you need to put a bit more African in yeah. there. Eh? You know, the whiteness is still yeah, coming yeah, out. Yeah, eh? you can, Dog you size, can, still yeah, there. Yeah, you can see, you can, yeah, yeah. No, you can see, but, yeah. uh, uh, but in any case, people like telling me, but don't forget you are old, eh? Yeah, you because come from a different school. I'm coming, you know, yeah. yeah, but sometimes when I look at the king, that warm him, yeah, you yeah, know, that yeah, will put you sure, in a certain place. Sure, sure. But maybe it's because I'm old and yeah. I also the culture get yeah, yeah, Maybe, yeah, but yeah. I need to. But I feel like, hey man, hey man, hey, Muslim, yeah. hey, wanna, <laughs> hey. <laughs> so, what influence does music have in the modern church? Yeah, sure, man. I think let's let's just talk about what influence does music have in the modern world. Mm-hmm. Because I think sometimes we want to look at church in isolation. Yeah. And that's why we become, we're not able to reach people. Hmm. Because the same, you know, I always say, as people move to, to as they become affluent in their lives, yeah. they, they don't buy at checkers anymore, they buy at Woolies. Mm. Right? It's the same with church. They don't want to go to a church anymore. They want to go to a church. So yeah. I think we, we, we sometimes think as people become Christian, some certain things don't, don't apply. and da, da, da. Mm. The psyche of life doesn't yeah, apply. Yeah, yeah. But, so music is, 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 is big in transporting message. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, is, um, it, it appeals to the soul of... So when you're listening to music, it, 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 you tap your body response, mm-hmm. so physically your emotions respond and your soul responds, your spirit responds. So music actually touches. What, what's that guy who was here um, who has a cultural celebration? Our music does not, uh, does not ask for permission to go inside. Yeah, yeah, it just, it goes, you know? Yes. And, and, and a generation that does, does not, does not, everything is, is quick. It mm. comes, goes, comes and goes. Everything is here. Unat uh, is the one who said you know, it. They is. don't want to, to listen to a five hour sermon mm. or two hour sermon or whatever. Music is a bait mm. because it then draws them in and then you have an opportunity. So you need to ensure that the music you are getting out there is gospel centered mm. so that you're not baiting them with something that does not reflect what you are teaching. Mm-hmm. So it needs to be gospel centered. So it, it, is, it is what really appeals to people from all different walks of life. There's someone who's Muslim who said to me, you know, I'm, I don't believe in Jesus, but this song touched me and I don't even know why. Mm. Yeah. So then I'm like, it's the Holy Spirit is working. So, so we're like, we're going to use whatever tool at our disposal. Mm. Music, art, movies, whatever. So music was just the central part of uh, what we're doing. So when I saw that Muso, the, the, the music... Yeah. It's a big thing because yeah. you've got music. music. Yeah. I thought on Sundays your church is a yeah. worship worship festival, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Until I had only sometimes you do two songs and that's it. Not sometimes. Every Sunday it's just two songs. Two songs? Yeah. But one small woman here and got a two songs. <laughs> 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 it's, it's just two songs. Two songs, that's yeah, it. That's it. And I think because we have a we have a very strong, you know, in the when they do church matrices, they say it's a mm. blue culture, mm. right? Blue culture means very spirit led. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. we allow God to move. So because our service is an hour and a half, so there's there's not enough time to do a lot of things. 
but we don't want the songs to feel rushed. Mm. So as opposed to doing five songs and then it's just five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, we just two, do two yeah. and allow them to breathe. Ne? Yeah. And then when you leave there, you feel like Yo, that was such a, a spirit, you know, filled thing. It was oh. not just songs. So we give them a bit of, we can do four, mm. but it's just going to be five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. Now we do two, just so that. Yeah, plus one more, eh? Yeah, so now I mean, I mean, once more. If yeah. he starts laughing, yeah. ah, he yeah, must yeah, know. Exactly. That song can be 30 minutes. Ah, I got a matter. Yeah, yeah, so. Ah, once more, and, you know, and, and I'll tell you this. When you when you go to Muso Church, you're going yeah. to find something interesting. So every now and then we'll do the hymn, yeah. the Kilongo, the and all of those really? traditional stuff. And man, it changes the mood in the room. Yeah, no, we do it. We do it. We do it quite, quite often. We do it very, very often. Mm. Uh, because I think it's a, uh, the expense of sounding, I mean, it's a black thing. Yeah. Whether you are orientated in a white oh, church or not. It must come when, there from when, time to when time. When that thing hits, man. <laughs> <laughs> when you know, the hymn hits, yeah. ah, my brother, you forget his song. Yeah, forget his song. <laughs> <laughs> well, brother, yeah, you've spoken to yeah, me. Yeah, no, you no, forget the song. I need to get and, uh, you... one, one Sunday. Hey, I've been yeah. up, absent for church for three weeks now. Yeah. Let's go back to my, my church. Brother, then after church. that, yeah. I cannot wake. Yeah. 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 I cannot yeah. go here. Hey. Um, <laughs> so, with that said, how important are musicians yeah. in the modern church? They, because of the, what people respond to, mm. I mean, they are critical. Yeah. Uh, they are they are very critical because they, I think musicians are important in the local church, number one, mm. for their own sake. Mm. Because they need a place to belong to. Mm. Yeah, so okay. that's the first and primary role. Yeah. No one comes to Musa Church for Musa worship, but for their own sake, for their souls. Mm. That's the first thing. And then, because music is such a critical part of what we are doing, especially in the urban context, then musicians are critical, man. To, to downplay their importance is to be disingenuous. They, mm. are, they are really, really, really important. Are they ministers? They are ministers, yes. They are. No, there's, there's, no, if, there's no two ways about it. I mean, we are all called into ministry. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's no one who is not a minister we're all supposed to be serving yeah. because the Bible says some have called in Ephesians, some have called to be pastors, apostles, Pro, da, da, yeah. da, 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 uh, for the equipping of the saints for the work of ministry. Mm -hmm. The people who do the work of ministry are ministers. Oh, somebody was sitting there and I don't want to say his name, eh? yeah, but, but Adorado Park, eh? yeah. he says, music is not ministry. He says, music is a tool in which you can transport ministry. I don't know if that okay. makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I don't I, know. Okay. <laughs> Let's leave it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, before we go go, go to uh, uh, Muso Church and the songs that you've done, eh? yeah. people don't know that a lot of the songs, some Muso, yeah. they're written by you. Yes. So you're also a creative. Yeah. And the singing Shema. Ah, my brother. <laughs> but you play bass, ne? I do. You play bass, ne? <laughs> yeah. So uh, the songs, go, 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 some of the songs from Musoche, yeah. especially the popular songs, yeah. were written by him. And people don't know, he used to write plays for, for a doxer for the, for, the Yo. for the young church, eh? Bruh. Eh? <laughs> I don't was know acting that. in the place. A acting in the place as well. I was writing the plays and I was acting in the place. Don't say anything when I'm Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so yeah. I'm, Sure, I'm, yeah, so I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a creative, you can say that. So yeah. I, I used to, That's why we we have Muso Media, because yeah. we're hoping that one day we'll have movies and stuff like ne? that. Wow. But, but yeah, man, I've just always been a writer, mm. written books, written plays. Mm. Um, and then we started a band called Salt. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So yes, yes, yes. That's, that's, that's where it started. And... Uh, so I've been writing. And you've been writing for, for yeah, Soul as well. I was writing for Soul okay. as well. I wasn't going to go there because of time. Yeah. But there's something interesting about your books, ne? Yeah. especially the first book. Okay. Yeah. Uh, was that book rushed? Yes. Was... Yes, it was. <laughs> Do you look at it? There? And if I'm not mistaken, you, you quoted a scripture wrong there. Yes, my brother. <laughs> I, I was supposed to say... Uh, uh, 
Jesus is the way, the truth, and, and the, the life. life. Yeah. And I say the light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's the light. I mean, he's the light of the world. <laughs> yeah. So you were not copying it from Rachel. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, you know, was, yeah no, 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 no. I don't want to bring that up, but <laughs> people, and it's important for you to talk. I believe, I yeah, know, yeah. to talk about these things. Yeah, yeah. Humble beginnings. Yeah, it yeah. sounds like such a cliche, no? yeah. but it's so important yeah. to come and say my first my first book was actually a flop. Yeah, I rushed it. Yeah, it was not even it. supposed to be. You know, some some there, there's a publishing house that's trying to get me to mm. publish a book now, mm. and I said to them, guys, give me give me a year or two. Mm. You know. Uh, I don't want to rush into it. I'm still yeah. building the story. So yeah. then I was young and eager, <laughs> and you know, and and uh, and I made the mistakes mm. and learned from the mistakes. We launched it actually. Mm. Uh, it was a big launch. Mm. You know, it was great, man. I had a great band, mm. and yeah. But in hindsight, I'm like, you know what? I, I don't regret it. Yeah, I learned from it. We will do better going but forward. But you know, you could have done it better. Yeah, no, 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 absolutely. You've got the learnings but, from But you it, know yeah. what? I I didn't know better. Exactly. Even if I had a year, mm. I would not have done better. That that at that level, yeah, that was my best. Ne? Yeah, at that level, that was my best. Yeah. No, there's a book. Or, there's a uh, um, and you've got another book now. Ne? Yes. I need to I need to read your book. So, Barry, Barry, this man is very, you. Barry, if there's something about you, you're a teacher. Okay. Barry, you teach. You teach very well, and I've listened to your sermons. You know. Okay. You can take. You can preach about this cardboard yeah. and make it sound like it's a, you know, you know. But anyway, so this man, eh, what what was very intriguing about about you is you've got superstars, gospel superstars in the church. Yeah. Ah, you can't downplay that one. Eh? You've got Bongi and Colin. Mm. You've got Once More. Mm. You've got uh, uh, Kema Lipule. Pulele yeah. And then you've got kind of Younger. Mm. And what blew my mind was Cairo as well. Cairo, sorry, yeah. and Cairo. Hey, sorry, sorry, Cairo. What blew my mind was none of them are getting paid. Yeah. All of them are saying, "No, no, no, that's my home." Yeah. How did you get that right? I didn't, man. And I think that's the that's the honest truth. I I don't think I got it right. I think it's people who were just looking for a church to belong to, mm. and they came to Musa Church. But why Musa Church? I don't know. They come there for two songs. Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, I, honestly, I don't know why they, and they came to Musa Church for different reasons at different times, mm. different spaces, uh, going through different things. And when they came to Musa Church, none of them did we say get on stage. Mm. You know, we allowed them to be part of the church mm. until they were ready to get on stage mm. you know i mean young girl had been at church for a year and six months or so before she started to join the worship team so we yeah i, I think that's that man some of them me and bongi and colin we mm. go a long way back mm. when they were still doing their i believe yeah things that when i was doing the flesh mob they were there mm. so it's some of them is out of long-term relationships yeah you know uh once more in fact I have a friend, Johnny, this, uh, Beyonce, Beyonce, introduced me to Once More. <laughs> uh, introduced me to Once More. Yeah. And, uh, you know, yeah, so it all of the stories are unique, but none of them was called to Muso. In fact, Once More is the only one I called to Muso to, to and I can tell, I want to tell that story how. Mm -hmm. Please, please. Whom I called to Muso to come in leadership. Mm. Once More had received an offer at another church in Joburg, two, two churches, mm. to lead worship there. And I just felt in my heart that for what we were trying to build, he must come to Muso. And I had a coffee with him and I said, hey man, listen, um, I sense God is calling us to do this and I want you to be a part of it and, and to come and lead worship. And then he was like, uh, so how much are you paying? Mm. Like nothing, I just have a vision and a dream that mm. we can do this. And he looked at me like, is this Did guy, he laugh? Is this guy serious? Yeah, he's only laughing. <laughs> and, and he says, okay, I'll talk to my wife. Uh. And before the end of the day, once he said, I'm in. Hmm. And he declined the offers that we're going to pay him. And he said, man, I, I resonate with what you're saying. And it's been a look at what God is doing. 
Wow. I did not lie to them. I told mm. them that, guys, Straight. this is what we're going to build. Yeah. Come through, and it's happening. Wow. Wow. The, the, the one small story is an interesting one. Yeah. yeah. But one day, one day, yeah. one small. And, and, and you know, when you're having mm. these conversations, mm. I mean, there's musicians who are going to watch this, and it's going to be a trigger to mm. them because they've also been told stories. They've yes. been told about vision. They've been told about mm. this. And I think it's very unfortunate, man. But mm. the stories are unique. I, I, that's why I don't like getting... Every time there's a pasta musician fight on mm. social media, I don't get involved. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because I understand that the Musso story is unique. Yeah. Uh, it's, not, it's not every day yeah. you know, that something like this happens. But we're going to get to a point where they get salaries now they're working. Yeah, 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 sure. But that's that's our dream. Our dream is that's why we have Muso Media. Mm. It's it, and when we're slowly, we're, we're actually getting closer and closer to that time mm. where this thing will be able to be sustainable for them and their families. They are able to buy houses and you know out of this thing. Ah, uh, you know? uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> like that. You know, sometimes ne, and uh, some pastors have called me out, but when uh, you. We're putting pastors against uh, uh, musicians. I said, yeah, no, it's yeah. already there. Yeah. But you need to have a heart as a pastor, I feel like. Yeah. No, man, I, I need to understand that this person has got a wife yeah. and a child. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. call yeah. once more, fella. Yeah. Yeah. Let's help you with your wife. Yeah. Are you guys sure. okay? Sure. Sure. Forget the music. Forget, yeah. Yeah. are you guys okay? Yeah. 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 And I and I, I think with all of them, hmm? they will tell you for the premise of a relationship hmm. is that they are my congregants before they are worship leaders. Mm. They, the, 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 yeah. It's this past Sunday I had to shift because one of them was just not going. Man, I said to them, we will play a video on Sunday, and while you guys are at church, if you are not in a good space, mm. we are we're not going to put you on stage, even when you're not in a good space, so that we can serve the people. No, our video right YouTube. Yeah, we'll play YouTube even. If one small is in the room, if he's not in a good space with his wife, or he's not just in a good space, we will we will do that. Wow. Yeah, I told them straight, we will do it. We we it's we're not going to compromise you for the sake of no, we will be mm. fine. Uh so so Musa worship, while I love it and what if what if you were building it as mm. an entity that can be able to take care of the people who are building it. Because they are the ones who are building it. They are sacrificing their time, their effort, and their gifting mm -hmm. to build this thing. And so we set it up in a way that there's a trust. So it's set up, there's a trust, and everyone who is part of Musa worship then becomes a trustee. Mm. And then when there's money in there, then it's distributed to them, whatever the amount is. I want to be a trustee now. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> but that's beautiful. Yeah. Um, uh, any pastor with a heart, you know. I remember saying in the past, guys, I've been in worship teams in my all my life. Yeah. You go play pastor, let's have a bribe for the worship team. Yeah. Like those small gestures, yeah. I feel like they can. No, they do it. They look like like I think it was four weeks ago. Once was they say, Muruti, I need the church's bank. I need mm. the church's card mm. while I'm doing a bribe. He's the he's like I'm mm. I'm doing a bribe for the worship team. Mm. It's like okay, and they, yeah, so they. No, it's beautiful, man. They Look, do it. These man. people must be looked after. Not that they're better than car guards. Yeah. Uh, Amen. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, Beyonce uh, Tula. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> so let's talk about the albums of Musa Worship, yes. man. Um, 2020, 2020, yes. Cup King, Pa, B. Jesus, Jesus be lifted. lifted yeah. Yeah. Jesus be lifted. It had that song, yeah, Pagama. Yes, 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 uh, yes. Beautiful song. And Umuli. Yes. And I was like, ah, Umuli. there's something there. There's yeah, something yeah, there. Yeah, and then yeah. you guys came. Uh, let's, uh, King Pinaeli. Gagging Suga Gue was on the scene. Gagging Suga Gue. And it's like, Bongi. No, on Gizu Ngezi. Gizu Ngezi. Gizu Ngezi. Yeah. Zung Unguzu. Wanna, yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. When I heard that song, yeah, like, oh, there's something here. Yeah, and yeah. and I mean, Bong is just dynamic. Ah, she's amazing. And she's I was amazing. like, yeah. no man, these guys are onto something. Yeah, and yeah. You, you wrote that song, ne? Yes. Ungiz, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I did. What was going through your mind? Ungiz, but Ungiz, you've you've surrounded yeah, me, ne? Yeah, yeah, church was showing me flames. 
<laughs> yeah, sure. We were, we were, yeah, church was showing you flames, man. Uh, you know, just not mm. sure if we're coming or going. Yeah. And, uh, 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 we had lost the business, we had mm. lost everything. Me and my wife had to downgrade to mm. a smaller apartment. And yo, I remember the landlord at the, where we had the church, we had not paid for three weeks in a row and saying, if you don't pay for this Sunday, you're not going, your guys are not going to have church here. Mm. And, and, and just, just the reality that, you know what, God is surrounding me in all of this, mm. you know, and uh, I'm not going to be afraid. You know, because I was, I was, I was attempted to, to the retreat because of fear of mm. failure, and I said, "No, man, I'm not going to be afraid. We're going to make it. We're going to find a way." And then that's, uh, that's uh, a good song. Yeah. So, how do you give them the melody now? Because vocally, shame, <laughs> safa. So <laughs> the bass helps. The bass, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I use okay. my bass. So yeah. I do the progression. And then I'll sing mm. over that, and then I send it to them, and then and then they take it over. They there. take it over from. Oh, okay. Me. Yeah. So is a mu muso worship. Yes. Like you said, you, the media part now, the rights of the song are they registered under muso worship? Yeah, to the group. To the group. Yeah. So no, to the so the entity muso group, mm. they are registered to that. So that they remain there, so they are not registered to me, okay. registered to the group. So for the benefit of everyone who is in there. Oh, okay. So the on the split yeah. sheets, we put everyone there. No, no, no. So it's just the group. Oh. And they are a trustees in the oh. group. So when the group is paid, then they will eventually then get the oh. the, the money. Yeah. Because Nagi Buzor once more when he did, because that song was his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, so Gengesu, 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 Gengesu. Yes. That, that is not part of the catalog. Okay. It's, it's his. It's his. Yeah, so this is a catalog. And for now, it has not been generating a lot of money. Only now, mm. we're beginning to see an uptake yeah. on that. And, you know, putting in an event like the one we did last year, it's very expensive. It's expensive. So after expenses and everything, mm -hmm. whatever is left in there, we want to keep it in the, in the trust mm. so that if one small leaves, the trust is still there. The people that will come, mm. everyone will benefit. Ah, yeah, so they, that's beautiful. They remain trustees and, and not shareholders because it can be tricky now if they become shareholders and this one wants to leave mm. and then what must we do? Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. And 2024, man. Then yeah. you guys came with Jesus to the City, Volume 2. Yeah. Right? yeah. And then you guys did Jeso on Tika. Sure. Wow, like like I told you before we, we yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, ah, this song, what is this song now? So yeah. I listened to it to answer it. Third time I'm like, hey <laughs> You know, it had to grow it's, it's it, up on you. Yeah, I know it snuck up on me. It had it had to grow and I'm like, wow. And and um when I saw what it's doing on Spotify mm, and mm, mm, and what it's doing on, on YouTube, yeah, and yeah. I was like, Wow. It's crazy. Yeah. Ah, this man this man is praying, eh? Ah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. No, no, no. This, this, this man is pain. And you must pray seven times a day. I was like, <laughs> and I'm people so were saying, kidding. Yeah, how does a song become a hit in South Africa? And John is not there. Yeah, well, wow. my brother. Ish. And then there's John a song is... called The Only Name. <laughs> <laughs> I get a I get Jennifer Mita. Uh, um, but if you want your song to pop, yeah, Johnny yeah, must yeah, be yeah, somewhere yeah, there. Yeah. He was not there. No. It's a pillow, Johnny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the only name? Yeah. Did you write that song as well? Yes, I did. Hi, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. No, I, I need to talk to you because... <laughs> I've been I've been postponing you know, the podcast. I want to have an album for the podcast. Yes. So I've written the songs. So now I need to sit with people and say, no, it, it, it goes like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. the confidence is not really there. <laughs> I must sit with, you must take me through. No, man, don't worry about yeah. Bim being there. Just yeah. do your thing there. Yeah, they, they, the musicians, they, they are there for that. They will fix all of that. Ne? Yeah, in fact, this, the only name, the yeah. funny thing about the only name is that I had given it to one of the big gospel artists in the country. Mm -hmm. I had sent it to her. Yeah. And uh, she didn't like it. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, so that's interesting. <laughs> but now, uh, what, what are the future prospects for, for Muso Ship and Muso? What can we look forward to? Because I've, I've seen the trend that you, yeah. you, you record 
annually, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, so what's coming this year? And not because of comparison, but as a point of reference. Yeah. We wanna we wanna be what like a, a, a elevation worship is. Yeah. You know, we want to create songs that churches can sing, mm. uh, people can sing uh, around the world. Mm. Uh, that's the idea with Muso Worship. And we're going to keep recording uh, and just getting the music out there. Yeah. You know, someone is saying, yeah, hey, you're recording every year. You're mm. not getting tired. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not by chance, it's mm. by plan. By plan. Uh, yeah. We want to just keep on recording music and, and releasing it and see what the Lord does. Um, yeah, the, 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 the current album has, uh, has, uh, attracted a lot of, a lot of attention mm-hmm. from companies, record labels and stuff like that. So we'll see. Hey, I'm so going to spread of praise. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> in, in closing, my brother, <laughs> in, in closing, my brother, um, uh, I think I think we've spoken enough. Ne? Yeah. These ones, I've got a feeling one day we'll sit again because okay. I want to know what are the plans with 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 Musa Church now. Yeah, yeah. I know you guys are buying a building. Mm. You know, uh, you guys are buying a building. Where is the building going to be? Where mm. do you think the building is going to be? Yeah. And where do you want to take it? And how do you make sure that because in the last three years you've been moving, eh? Eish. So you can't now buy and now. Hey, we need to move. You know, uh, it 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 creek. Yeah, <laughs> we went through the same thing. Yeah, we were in a small place. Yeah, we, uh, then we broke the hall, we made it bigger. Yeah, I'm like I know we need to move. Yeah, you keep on. We moved to the new creek. the new church. We realized, hey, we are too small for this church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Half of the church was covered at the back. Sure. Now there's not enough space. Yeah. Yeah, now we have yeah. to think, hey, how is it going to happen? Yeah, yeah. So how do you make sure you prevent that from happening? Yeah. And what are the plans for, for Musa Church? You know, I think many are the plans in the man's heart called yeah. the scripture. But purpose comes from the Lord. And we, 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 we want to, in the interim, get this venue. Mm. Because it will help us to reach at least about a thousand five people mm. per service, which will be great. The venue, the new venue, has mm. that kind, that capacity. And where and is it? Where it's in um, Silverton. Silverton. Yeah. So, so you're moving. I'm moving from Headfield. It's about five kilometers from where we currently are at. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Silverton. I see my can't. Yeah, so it's in between oh, uh, the okay. CBD and, oh, and Mami Lodi. Yeah. I see, I see. Yeah. Uh, so we're moving in that direction. And uh, yeah, man, we're, we're, we want to reach that community. We want to reach people. We want to just keep doing what God has called us to do. And then we'll take it from there. We'll take it from there. The way things are moving at Musa Church, it's just too quick. I feel like I... I keep making plans and ah, God, it's like, look at this one. <laughs> look at this one, he's playing. <laughs> this one is playing. This one. So I don't know. You know what I said to someone? Mm. I said, we're going to buy this building, right? And when we have outgrown it, this is my dream. And I hope I'll be held accountable. I want to be able to look at a, a young church that is growing, that is doing great work and give it to them as a gift. To when cheer. We, when we leave. Yeah. And say, hey, man. We want to be a blessing to you. Here you go, and then we go to wherever we're going after that. Hey. Admirable, admirable. Yeah. Just so p- people don't get it, ne? Yeah. Bondia seven million, get seventy thou a month. Yeah. yeah. What is seventy thou, Mupela <laughs> Madim? I mean, that's yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. It, we, we, the problem, you know, with this is what <laughs> yeah. we're paying rent mm? right now. For that amount, oh. so we're wasting money. Exactly. Yeah. So that's why we need to get a building because mm. we've been paying seventy thousand rands a month for rent mm. for the past year. Where would we would be a million rands in? You right know? now, so hundred percent. So just from a financial prudence, that's why we had to jump on this opportunity mm-hmm. because we just felt like, man, we're wasting money here. Mm. Yeah. Before before go on, yeah. I need to ask you a question. Like, I thought I in I thought yeah. I'm I'm not gonna ask this one. <laughs> but it's tempting now when I see that the uh, Beyonce has got it. <laughs> Your view with Christians and tattoos. Yeah. Just take me through your your thinking around it, what you think. Uh 
<laughs> my view with Christians and that too. Yeah. Yo, man. Um, I get okay. Just yeah. as you're thinking about it, yeah. I get the Bible says, "Don't ink yourself." What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I had somebody here last week, ne? Can now I've got a ring? Ah, yeah. It, we, what did he say? He says, "Yeah, it's fine. God has forgiven you, but don't do it again. Yeah. So don't get more tattoos." Yeah. yeah. I was like, "Hey." <laughs> so let me tell you a bit of a story. What happened, right? Mm. I got this tattoo, and um, probably we're still the church was still growing. Mm and probably 20 people in a space of a month in the church got tattoos mm. yeah i had to stand in front of a congregation and apologize and say guys i think i did not think this through mm. because i'm a leader mm. and what i do influences people mm. it's not an issue of whether it's right or wrong but the what are you doing it because tattoos can be a way in which spirits enter your life. Hmm. We cannot deny that. Mm. To deny that is to be disingenuous. Mm. Right? And I and I realized that as an as a leader in that moment, I had erred. I I shouldn't have, especially in this public. That's number one. Number two, there were parents in the church now who could not reprimand their children for getting tattoos because they were saying, but Fundisi has one. Yes. So in hindsight, I, I, I wouldn't have done it. Uh, not because there's anything wrong or right. No, the Bible says everything is permissible, but mm. not everything is beneficial. Mm. And I think in that light, it, wasn't, it didn't benefit anyone. If anything, it, 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 it was a bit of a distraction. So that's, that's all I'm willing to say about it. Is it a sin? No. Okay. But it's a dope tattoo, eh? Oh, thanks. I don't know. <laughs> hey, I'm thinking now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My brother, yeah. I don't know how I can thank you enough yeah, for coming you can give in. Give me eh? seven million. Seven million? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you are a giver. Man. Yeah. Said, this is an offering basket. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. I must drop it. Drop offering something. In there. Yeah. But, but m- more than that, Group, group, growing a church, like I said, I've been around pastors. Yes, I know yes, how much work yes, it is for yes. you to come and sacrifice your hour. Yeah. I really, I really appreciate you. I, it's a pleasure, man. It's yeah, a pleasure. I really yeah. appreciate you. Yeah. You were not too big for the platform. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so some people, I, when I ask them, I say, so what is our gig paying? I'm like, how? Well, no, it's a what podcast. Are the, what are the numbers? <laughs> how, how many subscribers do you have? And, uh, yeah, so, yeah. but um, um, thank you for not just growing Muso Church, you yes. know, saying, no, but let my story be told in yeah. this platform. So yeah. I really yeah. want to thank you for that. Ne? Pleasure, man. But before you go, I need to ask you this. If 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 uh, was yeah. not born, what would the world miss out on? Crazy. This is your, this crazy. is your time for you to gloat, eh? Crazy faith, man. Mm. I think I'm crazy. Mm. I think in this generation, that's what I want to do. I just want my peers to just go like, man, this guy is crazy. Mm. Oh, we can also do it. Mm. Yeah, I think that's it. Ne? Yeah. Uh, that's beautiful, man. And what would you like to see change in the gospel music industry? South mm. Africa. Hi, Vazalwan, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Say what's in your heart. Uh, man, I, I want to see musicians living well. Mm. Yeah, I think that's what I would want to see change. Just ne? people living well, having a good quality of life. Uh, you know, family, good families, healthy, um, you know, enjoying really, really, really good life. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Maren, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. You know, today, you know, after eating pub, you gave me that feeling. Yeah, I feel like I'm yeah, full. Yeah, like you've, yeah. you've answered me and I, and I appreciate you for that. And thank I appreciate you. you. And um, I just want to show you, we've got a sponsor ne? Okay. on the Gospel Reality Podcast called little or luck oh okay my bo- your body your treasure oh my god yeah there's so, a there's a there's a naked woman there uh i'm a naked woman mm. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Kan du tappa dig på det? Okej, aj då. Så. Hej, kan jag ge mig nåt? For those who are bio, everything is bio. So I'm I'm bio. So uh, this thing. It washes whiter than snow. Yeah. It oh gets a new zone. Ah, Jesus. My so God. It's a, it's a combination of, it's a shower gel. Mm. It's also a bath foam. Okay. Uh, they encourage your couples, man. You must yeah. just bath nicely together. Ah, together. Yeah. Ah, my God. So for you and your wife, yes. actually, leave it. Yeah. But uh, I'll find you. Okay. I'll bring you something. We need to get a hamper for your wife. She's going to have a child who has the bath bomb for her okay. to relax. Yes. I'll make sure. Ne- right. Next week, as fit, yeah. So that that is oh, this one or that one is for you. Shower gel, please use it. I and will. And Thank then you. Uh, that's our sponsor, the Totolaka. Please hit them up okay. if you like the the shower gel. Okay. Go Instagram. Hey, the Totolaka. I'd like to order twenty. Yeah. And give it away in church. <laughs> Leave that naked woman there. And then, as a man, as traveling men, we understand yeah. that we're going into winter. You need a flask or yeah. a, a hot and cold. We've got a hot and cold one. You should have. You should have done your. You, you see, your research was limited. I don't drink hot hot beverages. Uh, but even cold. That's why I said hot and cold. Ah, okay. There you go. <laughs> this is actually nice. Beautiful. Yeah, um, this is nice. T- tell them. So, so when you are preaching there, you feel like, yeah. oh man, you know what? You want to. You know how to tell them more, and then in, it, after some time, it's warm. Yeah, this yeah. This will yeah. keep cold things cold and warm things warm. Wow. Eh? Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. John Luna Leon. I Thank don't know you. why he's not talking about it. <laughs> so that's our gift. From from yeah. from the podcast yeah. to you, no, appreciating you and thanking no, you very thank much you, for man. for for coming through. So please do use it. Uh, yeah, must give you one for, for your wife as well. I must get your wife the, a black the, one, the, the, so you know the, which one is which. Yeah, there you go. Because you know them, Angel. Yes, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> In Colombia, your property is real. <laughs> but Morena, thank you very much. Ne? Thank you, sir. I'm very I, humbled. I I'm glad you in, you invited me. Yeah. Finally. Finally. Yeah. No, Kale. You've been you've been there. You've been yeah. you've been yeah. coming. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, either than that, I'm hot so Thank you.